What's happening, Captain? This your boy, CB Hunts. And look what just showed up on my doorstep today. We have here the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Hush's Superman. Man, when I saw that McFarlane Toys had it for an exclusive on his on his uh, store website, the boy had to pick it up because I had to look at how the figure looks, and I saw he had the double elbows, the double knees, and he had the exact same body as that, uh, as that infected S Superman, but just having the original colors, oh man, you know your boy had to pick him up, because he's a big Superman fan, so let's take this bad boy in the house and see what he's all about. got this bad boy in the house I gotta say off jump I don't know anything about the uh the, the whole the Batman hush I never did read any part of the comics of that that was the time when I was I, I was out you know, of, of like reading comics but I did look everything up of how Superman kind of turned evil because because of Poison Ivy with her vines has some kind of evil evil transfer hence the stuff that's inside the box but this is not why that I bought this figure so before we go into all that let's take a look at the box you see it is in, in, in his uh, I mean Fallen Toys type box that he always have all black box trimmed in uh, blue and white but he does has the gold label on top, got the other toy, toy line, the, the toy name, coming on top, same thing on this side here, showing everything else, and this side about the same, and on the back of the box, does not show anybody alive, but it does show a, a, a image of inside the comic book, goes, and having on that little vine thing around his neck, but, once we get back, We'll have this bad boy out the box. And we will see what it do with a, a, a Superman. And now we got this bad boy out the box. I gotta say, I'm loving the figure. I just can't stand the face. But y'all yeah, know I got an extra face scope I want to change it with. And extra body to change that head scope on as well. Plus, is one thing I don't like how McFarlane Toys does with these packaging and how they put figures in it, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. You ain't lying. So, before we talk about Superman, let's, uh, let's, let's talk about everything it comes with. We you know in McFarlane Toys, it has a black stand. DC, DC logo plain plain right here up next it has a card that they all have you see the card here the same image on the back of the box and it does have an bio so if you want to read it pause it here it goes and now the other thing comes with Superman comes with two pairs of hands, the top of two fists that you see on them, and the same hands, I do not know why they gave the same hands of the infected Superman. He could have gave us different hands with this here, 
like his flying hands with his hands more kind of up like almost like this, almost like this at least I know I got some hands in my in my bag of hands to try to see if I can find hands just like this but this is all this is the effect is simply in hands that's all it is it's just painted a more of a, a pale color that's all that is and the last thing that Superman comes with is the infamous uh, uh, poison ivy for pines. As you can see, you drape around him, so like that. So you had that so you can be more angrier than how he is. It's basically like a like a like a leaf type of a object. Oh, it is there. So, we're going to talk about the main man himself. Superman. I really do like this body that they have us with the effect of Superman. I kept saying it for the longest, and I kept using the other other body for the longest. For my version of Superman on my shelf, I kind of got a different head scope, kind of changed it. I, but I ain't paint the. I ain't actually paint the actual colors of the Superman that, that I, I that I was supposed to. But I still kept everything else. But I love the look. This one got that light blue. Again, it got that iconic Superman S front of the old school shorts with the belt. That got that. Got the infamous boots there. And what I really liked when I saw the, the pictures online and now I have it in hand, they got the infamous Superman S on the back of the cape, baby. This this here makes my Superman, yeah, this is going to be my ultimate one right here because it has this in the back. Every Superman I used to watch back in the day had this in the back. Well, not all of them, but, but you know, this is what Reed did. And he was my first. Well, he was my first, but he was my he was my he was my, my top one. But I really do like how his figure looks. I just don't like that face. He looks like Superman by the face, like angry, I guess, and the eyes. But because having it in hand, having it in hand, and then having seen it in the pictures, his face don't look as much as wide or whatever, like how it looked, but. Is okay at hand, but I do I do have I do have uh, hands for this hand scope, and I will take pictures of the exchange as well. But saying all that, and like I said before, I go with the articulation part. Um, like I said, McFarlane like toys they put the figures in weird spots, weird positions. They didn't put them in just regular pieces, like a regular, like just standing pose, or whatever. Because how they did this suit, man, you can tell by his ankles and his foot, his leg is like, like bent in a weird shape over time. You know, the heat being in the box, everything else, this leg is warped this way and made that peg work the other way. So I'm gonna have to put it in hot water, try to fix it or whatever, because they're making him stand all. All like oh leg it and I think the same thing with this one as well because I uh, I, I did a comparison to the infected one that that was more straight this one is much more much more bow legged so once you get this figure him being in that different uh, pose yeah you got to use some hot water to just try to like fix that because it's just it's just off right there. So now we can go with his articulation. Superman looks up this high right here. Looks low that much. Got a good head tilt. See? Arms can lift up that high. It does have some butterfly movement, but not as much. It has a, a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. Right quick. Ah. I go 
Oh, this arm. <laughs> see, you got the upper joint elbows. You can see here. You can lean back as far so you could get a good, get a good flying pose. Got a good ab crunch going that way. You can split that far. Kick forward that much. Kick back a little bit. Does have that double knees. Keep the leg back that far. Forward that much. And he does have that toe hinge. But see, mine with the toe hinge is, 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 is a tad bit, is a tad bit loose because I was it's like how I pulled him out of the package and he fell out my hand and he, and he, and he uh, hit the floor like on his feet. So the reason the toe hinge is loose is because of me. But all in all, I do like this figure. I just wish he gave a different hand scope and a different hands of him flying and stop put him in the weird like how you got him in a box man and another thing I want to speak on too about Superman and most of the capes well not all Batman capes but most of the Superman capes all Superman capes they do not have to have that their foosh like f like cape flapping to the left or the right yeah, have it straight down I wouldn't mind having a cape that goes like for Superman go all the way down Instead of, instead, of, instead of having this all the this, all the time, have it just, just all the way down. That's it. That'll be a whole lot better. Other than that, I like I like this figure. And now we're part of the review. We see how other Superman figures look next to Superman himself. This is a sack of next to the a Tales version of the Alex Ross Kingdom uh, Come version comics Superman. I really like this figure. I don't think I did review this when it first came out because at the time I didn't, ha I didn't, I didn't have my channel and I did my own little. Custom work because you know in the comic books you had he had gray hair on this side like you see here, but I really, really do like this figure right here. Up next, this is a stack up next to the uh, DC Collectibles uh, Cyborg Superman from the uh, to the return. Of Superman from the uh, at the Superman comic book series. And I hope McFarlane Toys do a version of this one as well. Cause this would be badass to kind of see how to see how how they would do it in that line. And please, just like the cape all the way down. Just have it just just the down. And don't have no no like 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 cape. In the wind, none of that. <laughs> Please. <laughs> and up next, this is like stack up next to the uh, no. echo version of the this re movie Superman. Now this here, I gotta speak on. I'm hope I can find the actual dude on Instagram who who made these and show these on his page by seeing these pictures here. He fall on toys. He did a fantastic job showing off how would they look in boxes. So if anybody take a clip of this, who's seen the guy on Instagram, who done these, I hope I can find him again. Man, these here looks amazing. Yeah, so if you see this Todd or 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 the or the or the um. Uh, Far and Toys team, I need this in my life. I will buy this. I will buy two versions of this in box and out of box. Trust me. <laughs> you have my money. You have anybody who loves Superman that will have a man. I'm telling you, bank all day, all day.
up next this is like stack up next to the very first wave of the uh, thousand issues <laughs> man I really did like it too when it first came out at the time I was hoping we get the double elbows and later down the line that we did now see I wouldn't mind having this version of the cape and the S version of this uh, to be on there because I look like I like still how the dark version of the blue and the red looks on this one, but I still still like the color blue. That one too, that looks more of a comic accurate and almost as accurate as the as Christopher Reeve uh, version of, of, of Superman. So these here are my top two, it's top two favorite in this toy line. And last but not least, is I can stack up next to my my uh, custom version of the Infected Superman. Kind of change up the head sculpt a little bit, and kind of re uh, repainted the neck and the hands, match the head that they put on it. So I might do the same thing along with this Superman as well. This is with, with these two, I'm just going to take the head off of this version here to put it on him. Put this head on him so I can really have my two versions of Superman's that I actually I've actually uh, have my collection the more good version of Superman and the more evil looking one. and this was my review of the McFarlane toy DC Multiverse Hushes Superman Gold uh, uh -huh, Able Edition Hope y'all enjoyed this review. Trust me, you had a fun time making it. And you know, with every review, I will take pictures. That's my Instagram right here, but I will leave them down below. You go and check those out. And your boys on TikTok. While well, I take those same pictures, I post over there. But I'll just add a little bit of flair. This is your boy, CB Hunts. Hope you have a blessed one. Trust me. I can wait to catch you in that next one.